so here we are having another part of the series as we have promised that we will be doing uh, the solutions okay we will be solving the solutions of uh, ICC English language paper that is paper 1 and last time we had done 2020 the year 2020 and now this time we are taking this ICC 2019 okay so quickly get started so the first question that you know in question number 5 we have to fill this blanks with the tense with the correct tense so let's start it the first one is given to us that is roamed once upon a time in the days when genies and giants roamed the land they are lived the answers are also given along with you they are lived a farmer named baba ayu he lived with his family in a little village by the name Maidan Subs, because he had a large family to feed, Baba Ayu saw his days consumed by hard work. Every day he labored. Now you have to just keep in mind that since the first example, the word that is given that is in past tense. So throughout it is going to follow past tense. Uh, there might be few exceptions that we will see, but generally it is going to be pastors every day he labored from dawn to sundown plowing his field and turning the soil and tending to his meager pistachio trees so as you can see always just the last line i want to repeat once again every day he labored from dawn to sundown that is what his work used to be Plowing. Now, what work he used to do? So, there are he used to plow his field, turn his soil, and tend his meager. So, these are the. So, whenever we have this conjunctions like and, uh, and everybody must be aware it is a coordinating conjunction. Okay, fanboy is what we understand the acronym. So, coordinating conjunction. So, whatever you're putting after and, the next part also has to be same. So, plowing his field and turning the soil and tending. To his meager pistachio trees. So let's go to the next one, which is basically your phrasal verbs. So here are the answers we can see the puppy was hiding under or underneath the sofa. Stop worrying about your future. When I stepped into the left, uh, stepped into there is a reason for this also because when you are entering. You, there is a motion involved movement and you are going in the lift and you are stepping towards the lift. So you are in the lift. You, to be inside the lift, you are stepping towards the lift. So it is into the lift. I found it had stopped working. We had to use the bridge to go across because we are crossing the river. So across. I have lived in town for 10 years. So this is very important whenever there is a duration uh, is given. For example, I have waited for you for one hour. So whenever a fixed duration is given to you, uh, whether in terms of hours, whether in terms of years, you are going to always use for. Please switch off. This is very easy. Switch off all lights and fans when you leave the room. Ronnie is married to my cousin. Now to my cousin and the gift came with a birthday card. So along with the gift, there was a birthday card. So they both came together. Okay, so that's why it is with. And seventh one, Ronnie is married to somebody. Okay, married to somebody. The C question, join the following sentences to make one complete sentence without using and but or so. This is important, you know, which you have to think quite a bit and solve he was very ill he did not take any medicine so in this sentence we can say he ill generally it is a contrast sentence if you are ill you are supposed to take medicine but here he was ill he did not take any medicine whenever there is a contrast we can use like this in spite of very important in spite is always followed by of in spite of being very ill comma he did not take any medicine or you can make it despite 
Now we know that in spite take off, but despite never takes off. So despite being, despite generally takes being, okay, or having, okay, some kind of participle it takes. So being we can put. So despite being very in, comma he did not take any medicine. Or you can also write with though or although, though he was very ill, comma he did not take any medicine. So whenever there is a contrast, we can use this. If you come back from your holiday, we will discuss the problem. Here the easiest would be if we can add and, but we know we cannot add and. So let's see here how we can, there we have, these are two clauses. We have to connect, we have to combine, we have to join this. So we can also write the once that we will discuss the problem once you come back from your holiday. Or we can also put when, that is subordinating conjunction also. Once is also subordinating conjunction. When you come back from your holiday, comma, we will discuss the problem. Or we will discuss the problem after you come back from your holiday. In that way also. He remained absent on Friday. It was foolish of him. Okay. So how we can do this? That it was foolish of him. To remain absent on Friday. Obviously, when we are putting infinitive, okay, infinitive to remain, we are writing. We cannot write ed. So, to remain absent on Friday. Fourth one, Rahul ran all the way to the bus stop. He missed the bus. Again, there is a contrast sentence that uh, in spite, the second one I am saying first, in spite of, so in spite of, we have said that in spite followed by of, in spite of running all the way to the bus stop, comma, he, Rahul missed the bus, right? Or you can write despite, but despite if you are writing, you cannot write of. So you have to put a participle, put me, despite being running all the way to the bus stop, Rahul missed the bus. Although or though. Although Rahul ran all the way to the bus stop, he missed the bus. Let's come to the fourth one, fourth question. Rewrite where is the transformation of sentences, beginning, ending, or you have to use particular word, rewrite, all these things would be there. The first one, the old woman said to Arun, can you help me to cross the street? Inverted comma, double inverted comma, comma, so it's a typical example of direct speech. So, Let's see how we can make it indirect speech. The old woman asked Arun. Now the question is, can you help me? So the question, that means, uh, if you can help that person. So when there is a question like this, can you? Okay, so you can use if or whether. So the old man asked Arun whether he could, because said, just see the, uh, said, that said is in past tense, right? So the indirect speech also that you are writing, it has to be in past tense. That's why the old woman asked, this is also past tense, we have put whether he could help her to cross the street. Or the old man asked Arun if he could help her cross the street. So whether or you can put if anyone. As soon as the sun rose over the hills, the fog disappeared. Typical example of as soon and no sooner, as soon as. Okay. So, no, so, as soon as the sentence is in affirmative and no sooner is in negative. Okay. So, how we can do? Uh, here, just see that which tense the sentence is. Ten, uh, the sentence is in past tense. So, no sooner did, always no sooner is followed by the helping verb first. So, did. Okay. Did or you can also write had. So, no sooner did the sun rise because we have already put did. So, it will become rise. Did the sun rise over the hills? Than. No sooner. Takes than. Than the fog disappeared. Or you can also write like this. No sooner had the sun risen. Because uh, we generally see the past participle of rise is rise, rose, risen. So, had the sun risen over the hills, than the fog disappeared. So, you can write either did or had. But you have to see what how... Which form of verb you are writing? If it is did, it should be rise. Did rise. 
if you are writing had then you have to be reason third it rained so heavily that they could not go for the picnic so here again two t double o two the first sentence that is given in the question is in negative we have to make it positive it rained too heavily for them to go for the picnic so too heavily we are using for them to go for the picnic if your friends get here before 7 o'clock we can take them out for dinner again it's a typical example of conditional sentences or if clauses sort of a sentences okay so so if a clause or so here we can see they are asking us to use unless in the sentence so how can we do uh, either we can start uh, from the beginning begin with unless we can do that unless your friends get here before 7 o'clock comma we cannot take them out for dinner so you are putting condition so if they arrive before 7 o'clock then we can take them out so unless they arrive if they don't unless means if they don't arrive so unless they arrive before we cannot take them we can put unless in the middle of the sentence also we cannot take your friends out for dinner unless they arrive unless they get here before 7 o'clock fifth one the school captain was elected by the students of classes 11 and 12 so this is a, a typical example of active passive so because you can notice by those students so that is a passive we have, we have to begin with the students so the students of classes 11 and 12 elected the school captain it is in past tense was elected so active would be elected the next sixth is an example of comparison of adjectives uh, greenland is the largest island in the world you have to use larger that means you have to make it comparative degree so greenland is larger than any other island in the world that way you can write seventh how cruel shylock was to demand his pound of flesh okay how cruel he was so uh, it is an exclamation mark so it's an exclamatory sentence given uh, we have to begin with it was cruel basically if we see that from exclamatory to we have to make it assertive sentence okay so it was cruel of shylock to demand his pound pound of flesh it was cruel of shylock the eighth one the last one arun was asked by his mother to explain the missing buttons on his shirt you have to use the word explanation so you have to remove that to explain thing and you have to make sense of the entire sentence using explanation so arun was asked for an explanation so we can write like this arun was asked for an explanation by his mother about the missing buttons on his shirt or we can write like this arun was asked by his mother to give an explanation we are adding inserting this word to give an to give an explanation for the missing buttons on his shirt or there is one more possibility arun's mother so you are making a possessive uh, noun a possessive uh, you are making it so arun's mother asked him to give an explanation for the missing button on his shirt okay so stay tuned we are going to upload the video of the early uh, previous papers also so this is a uh, year 2019 so we are going to put of 2018 so for in your suggestions that anything any more regarding grammar topics what you want to do and subscribe to our channel a very warm welcome to everyone as we know we have already started with the series of solving icc paper and there especially the language part of the paper so as soon as we finish with the language part we will be giving you the comprehension part as well so we have already done 2020 2019 and this is the icc paper of 2018 english language paper 1 
and the grammar part how we are going to solve and the things we need to keep in mind so get started question number four is the question based on tense that we all know and but in actually if you see that uh, from 2018 uh, later i mean the uh, 2019 onwards 20 onwards they have included one more in the creative writing or in the writing skill that is email and notice so that's how the recent papers that is 2019 2020 you will find this question as question number five but in 2018 those two things were not there notice email so that's why it is question number four but it is the same the pattern remains the same okay it's been more than 20 years actually icc uh, has been following the same pattern for that the tense transformation preposition phrasal verbs synthesis all this this the grammar part remains the same okay let's get started so here you have to fill in the blanks with the correct form of word so one word would be always given to you as an example to start to get started with the paper alice was beginning so you have to note that was is past tense so you have to say that this entire passage more or less is going to be in the past tense alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting okay of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do just to uh, remind you that yes whenever we have this kind of thing a uh, conjunction and okay and is a coordinating conjunction so of sitting and of having so see same construction follows nothing to do once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading but it had no pictures or conversations in it and what is the use of a book thought alice without pictures or conversations alice wondered whether the pleasure of making a daisy chain would be worth and trouble of getting up and picking the daisies when suddenly a white rabbit with pink eyes ran close by her alice did not think this was very remarkable until the rabbit actually took a watch out of his waistcoat pocket and looked at it and then hurried on so you can see that the everywhere we are using past tense except participles like sitting okay beginning making otherwise it is all the past tense we are using so quite an easy passage this time 2018 students uh, had received let's come to the next one that is about preposition phrasal verbs they come all mix in this question fill in the blank with an appropriate word the poet the poet's mother was stung by a scorpion so scorpion by the it is basically more like uh, uh, the thing which is actually it's doing something on the subject okay so poet's mother is subject the object is doing the action on the subject so generally for that we use by please write down what i tell you otherwise you will forget the teacher said the dog was hiding under the bed barking at the stranger here we have to be careful what is the meaning of under and underneath and then we have to because people uh, students uh, might make this mistake underneath rather than writing under sheila's grandmother found it difficult to climb up the steep staircase or in this case climb down is also correct okay because the, we don't know the context uh, very clearly so up climb up or climb down the soldiers the soldier fought bravely for his country that's quite easy there is no use crying over spilt milk there is a saying as well don't cry over spilled milk so let's go we can take from there i don't know what they are arguing about but i could hear angry voices or you can write i don't know what they are arguing over okay but i could hear angry voices so about or over what they are arguing over or what they are arguing about i don't know many students tend to make mistake what they are arguing for you know i don't know what they are arguing for no that's not correct you have to write about 
something about or over. The school play playground is out of bounds for the pupils of the primary school. So this is actually an example of compound preposition that out of. Let's come to the next one, which is where the four sentences you have to do. You join the sentences without the without using and but or so. So they have to go to bed early every night. They are allowed to stay up late on Saturdays. Okay, so here is a some kind of contrast. So every night they have to go to bed only on Saturday, but on Saturday, Saturdays they are allowed to be. But as we know, we cannot use but. So whenever there is a contrast, but we cannot use but, what else we can use? We can use all these possibilities. That is although. Although they have to go to bed early every night, comma, they are allowed to stay up late on Saturdays. Instead of although, you can also write though or even though. Though they have to go to bed early every night, they are allowed to stay up late on Saturdays. Okay, like that. Or else some other subordinating conjunctions uh, also you can use. Like they have to go to bed early every night while they are allowed to stay up late on Saturdays. Whereas they are allowed to stay up late on Saturdays. Okay. Some students might think to make mistakes you, uh, that yes, they are have to go to bed early every night except on Saturdays. No. This sentence, what I just said right now, it's wrong because it is changing the meaning of the original sentence. Okay. So, let's go to the next one. The children were delighted. The exams had been cancelled. Okay. So, we become really happy about this fact that children will definitely will be delighted. So, the children... There is some cause and effect. Okay, so the exams cancel, that's why children are happy. So that's a cause kind of sentence. So here we can use because the children were delighted because the exams had been cancelled, or the children were delighted as the exams had been cancelled. The children were delighted since the exams had been cancelled. The children were delighted that the exams had been cancelled. Okay, exams, uh, the exams had been cancelled. Therefore, the children were delighted. So here, basically, because the exams got cancelled, the children were happy. Okay. Uh, some might make a mistake like this, that yes, as the children were delighted, the exams had been cancelled. No, that would be wrong. You have to think that which is the cause of their happiness, which is the cause of their delight, the exams getting cancelled. So the children were delighted because the exams were cancelled. So you have to understand the logic okay then definitely it would be correct next one we are not allowed to play in the sun we are not allowed to play in the rain so this we have to join okay so how we can join definitely when there are two negative sentences already we can use neither nor but neither nor we have to see the construction very carefully okay what construction if after neither i'm putting a noun after nor also i have to put a noun if after neither I am starting with a verb, I have to put verb after nor. That should be the construction always with neither nor, either or, not only but also with this kind of uh, things. Okay, we are neither allowed to play in the sun nor allowed to play in the rain. So see, after neither I have started with a verb, allowed to play in the sun. So after nor also I have written the same, nor allowed to play in the rain. Second, Another possibility, we are not allowed to play either in the sun or in the rain. That is also fine because I have just written negative in the beginning itself. We are not allowed to play either. Either also I have written in the sun after or also I have written in the rain. So, okay, so I have started with the preposition after either. So, or after or also I should start with the preposition. So, either or this kind of combination they take, okay. Otherwise, I can start with neither. Uh, neither are we allowed to play in the sun, nor we are allowed to play in the rain. So, if after neither, uh, this neither, when you are starting with either, starting the sentence with either or neither, it generally takes a verb first, be verb first. So, neither are we allowed to play in the sun, nor we are. So, this last one is a little tricky. I would suggest you to go with the first two 
uh, options that is easier next is uh, the fourth one this is the place the dog was rescued from its cruel owner so this is the place where very easy okay this is the place where the dog was rescued from its cruel owner so this is basically uh, it's a adjective uh, clause okay how because you are giving more value to this word place place is a noun so you are actually joining with the thing with the where so that is you are making it as a adjective clause okay uh, this is the so having good knowledge of clause and phrase really helps you to crack this grammar part especially transformation synthesis section so this is the place where the dog was rescued from his cruel owner the dog was rescued from his cruel owner at this place now at this place it's a prepositional phrase okay so that is also fine so you can also write like this the dog was rescued from his cruel owner in this place that is also fine okay at this place in this place or the first one where you are joining the sentence with where so that is how our four sentences we have done let's go to the meaty part that is uh, where we have to do uh, transformation of sentences the first one she laid the table after she had finished cooking okay and here they tell you how to begin so you have to begin with the word when you cannot begin with any other there might be more than one possibility but you have to see what we have to begin or end begin so when she had finished cooking she laid the table very simple with subordinating conjunction they have done so he is old but still he works hard okay he is old but still he works hard you have to begin with despite always remember whenever you find across this word despite or in spite of remember despite never never takes off okay in spite of that is a compound uh, preposition in spite of okay three things are there but for despite you we never use of so despite of being old wrong despite being old comma he works hard still still and despite also we don't take together uh, so despite being old despite can take any participle after it so despite being old he works hard next one the delivery boy was requested to bring the parcel the next day you have to change into a direct speech but here a uh, uh the delivery boys we don't know exactly who is speaking so we can take in general so request it we know that we have to use please so your punctuation mark is very very important in this so double inverted comma please bring the parcel tomorrow then only in indirect speech it will change into the next day so it is tomorrow comma he said to the delivery boy or i said to the delivery boy or they said to the delivery boy you can write any fourth i prefer playing a game to watching television this is a very common uh, you know question that keeps on coming in icc prefer rather this two combination so i prefer always followed by two so i prefer playing a game to watching okay and rather always followed by than so i would rather play a game than watch a television or watch television whatever is given in your original sentence stick to that here they are not given watching a television so we are going to say than watch television i would rather play a game not playing play a game than watch television next every family has a black sheep so it is again typical example of affirmative and negative affirmative to negative there is no okay so there is no family that does not have a black sheep okay there's no family that does not have next one i have never worn a more ill fitting suit okay end with ever own okay uh, this is the most ill fitting suit that i have ever worn because ever what that's a good indication that okay this is the most ill fitting suit that i have ever worn so you can see it's an example of degree 
more ill-fitting it is becoming the most ill-fitting suit seventh one uh okay seven one there are lots of possibilities so let's see anil is too fast a runner not to come first in the race this is a bit tricky because generally with two we don't get to see not cannot because cannot always come in so that okay but here it's a little tricky so we have to see how we change anil is too fast a runner not to come first in the race that means he is definitely such a first runner that he has to come first okay nobody can beat him so we have to start with anil is so so anil is so fast a runner that he cannot because so follows by that and cannot so that he cannot fail to come first in the race that word you have to add fail cannot fail to come okay or anil is so fast a runner that he has to come first in the race the previous example what i have given you anil is so fast a runner that he will come first in the race anil is so fast a runner that he is sure to come first in the race or anil is so fast a runner that he will surely come first in the race anil is so fast a runner that he cannot but come first in the race this is a little different last answer i mean last option is that he cannot but he cannot but that means he surely going to come first he sure to come first okay so i think initial options of the answer are much easier okay but the last one is also quite very appropriate very formal way of saying he cannot but come first okay the eighth one is easier very common as soon as the sports meet ended the children ran on the field you have to start with hardly generally either here we have no sooner hardly so let's see hardly hardly we are going to take had so hardly had the sports meet ended when the children ran on the field so hardly always takes when no sooner takes than okay and as soon as obviously you can put a comma so that's it your paper of 2018 stay tuned will be coming and with more solutions of the previous years and any suggestions let us know in in our comment box welcome back friends so we are ready with another episode of uh, solving icsc 2017 english language paper 1 in this series we are sharing with you the grammar questions uh, specifically only the grammar questions which will help you to solve your icsc grammar part okay so that will be really useful as we have already seen in the earlier part please go through those videos 2020 2019 2018 and now this is 2017 icc english language paper 1 uh solved grammar questions are very important part significant part of this paper and it will help you to score a lot if you know certain tricks certain tips and it's functional grammar so you can practice keep on practicing this kind of pattern of questions if you i'm very much sure if you practice at least 10 years or 15 years of grammar questions so definitely you can score really good marks in the grammar part of the icc language paper so let's get started with the question that the first one they have that is a passage a uh, passage based question where we the one example they give to you that is sat, uh, whether it is starting with past tense with the present tense that we have to keep a note so let's start with that my mother started so this word is already given to us based on this we have to move ahead my mother started school when she was beaver that is was it would be it will not take am um, it will not take is its past tense and it is third person singular she so it will take was she was six and stopped the same term she was unusual in the village as she had a father and brother who encouraged her to go to school she was the only girl in a class of boys and claims that she was brighter than the boys 
but every day she would leave behind her girl cousins playing at home and she envied them. There seemed to be no point in going to school just to end up doing housework. So that started word is actually give you a starting point uh, which tense and this was basically the passage based on tense. The next one would be based on phrasal verbs, preposition, those things. So let's see one by one. The first one we have, she shouted angrily at the disobedient boy, shouted at, I asked them to provide us with a guide so that the guide can accompany us, help us with a guide. The tree grew at a dangerous slant and had to be cut down, cutting down the tree. That's a very common phrasal verb that we use. My sister believes in fairies. You're believing in something. He drew beautiful diagram on the board. So you're drawing the diagram on the surface of the board. So it is that's why on the board. She battled her way through the crowd. Okay. Through the crowd means it's a very crowded place. Okay. So you're starting at one point and ending and you're moving through that crowd. So that's why battle through. We were asked to gather around the teacher. Now there is another possibility could be we were asked to gather near the teacher. That is also fine. And they had to climb up the steep pathway to reach the top. Now here somebody might ask that yes, why not it is down. You have to understand the next part of the sentence. Pathway to reach the top. If you want to reach the top, you cannot come down. So it has to be up and nothing else. Next one is the meaty part that is joining the sentences without a coordinating conjunction like and, but or so. So this is the hospital. I was born here. Okay, this is the hospital one sentence and I was born here. So there are three ways we can write. This is the hospital where I was born. This is the hospital in which I was born. Or I was born in this hospital. That is also fine. Meaning should remain the same. Meaning of the original sentence should remain the same same okay. so let's see the second one the children have been sick for a week they were unable to go to school okay so there is a reason cause and effect sort of thing so the children were unable to go to school because they had been sick for a week okay or as it would be since the children had been sick for a week they were unable to go to school or as the children had been sick for a week they were unable to go to school having been sick for a week the children were uh, unable to go to school so here there is a cause there's a because so or since as this kind of reason based uh, conjunction we can use also notice one thing, here one sentence is in present, the other is in past. But when you are combining the sentence, both the verb should be in same tense. So that's why you see that in the answer, oh, we have put it all in pre uh, past tense. Third, Mrs. Kumar has been a teacher for 30 years. She will now retire. We have to join the sentence. So here, like let's use like participle. Uh, having been a teacher for 30 years, comma, Mrs. Kumar will now retire. Mrs. Kumar, who has been a teacher for 30 years, will now retire. Or Mrs. Kumar will now retire after teaching for 30 years. We have had, there's a lot of possibility for this question fourth. We have had to respect for nature. Now we are suffering from the effects of global warming. Again, there is a cause, effect, cause and effect. So since we have had no respect, okay, for nature, we are suffering from effects of global warming. Okay. Next one, having had no respect for nature we are now suffering from the effects of global warming as we have no respect for nature 
we are now suffering from the effects of global warming now we are suffering from the effects of global warming because we have had no respect for nature we are now suffering from the effects of global warming for we have had no respect for nature another we are now suffering from the effects of global warming for disrespecting nature this is a new word that you are introducing but easy one would be since we have had no respect that is uh, as we have had no respect for nature that is one okay or because we have no respect that that one is a simpler one let's go to the last question where one mark for each that is uh, transformation of sentences first one so let's see not okay okay yes so here we can see not many people read for pleasure these days not many people read for pleasure these days we have to start we have to begin with few so how we can we begin few people read for pleasure these days that means not many people read since her childhood meera has been good in mathematics okay so basically good in or good at generally we say good at okay so meera has been good at or good in mathematics since her childhood the ending should be with childhood we have had no rain since january ramu said ramu said that so it's a indirect direct speech ramu said that we will become they they had had no rain since january next it is dangerous as well as illegal to drive a motorcycle without a helmet it is not okay so this is again affirmative and negative sentences it is not only you can use it is not only dangerous but also illegal to drive a motorcycle without a helmet or you can make it dangerous as not safe expand that word into not safe it is not safe and legal to drive motorcycle without a helmet he had plenty of wealth but he was not happy in spite okay that's how they want in spite of having in spite after of in spite of then we go for participle in spite of having plenty of wealth comma he was not happy or in spite of being that is also participle being wealthy he was not happy he was so tired that he could not stand this is a very easy one used to so he was too tired to stand every one of them was an experienced mountaineer there was no again a formative negative type there was no one who was an inexperienced mountaineer among them or you can write there was no one who was not an experienced mountaineer among them mean the same and there was no inexperienced mountaineer among them i have seen a film i have never seen a film as bad as this as bad as this okay so this is positive so this is so this is you have to start then this is the worst film i have ever seen so that's for 2017 paper we will be uploading more okay like 2016 15 14 onwards stay tuned and for any your suggestions hope you are liking our videos and let us know what else you would like to know regarding how to solve english language paper good luck welcome back friends so here we are ready with another part of the series of solving grammar of icc english language paper 1 so as in the earlier series we have seen the how we are going to apply the strict and all this uh, what you can say formula certain tricks and tips to solve this grammar questions so let's get started with this icc 2016 paper okay let's see the first one in the grammar component we always get tense uh don't get tensed about this tense which is actually not a very difficult one so let's see how we are going to solve it so first initially which is the trick you for you to understand is that just look at what is the beginning you know the hint they have given so generally every passage they give one either it is in past tense either it is in participle or it is in present tense we have to see that the first one over here they had given us see it is a past tense he had been 
sitting so had been that means it is in past tense he had been sitting on the bank of a small irrigation canal so the next onwards from the line that we have to start solving he was gazing at a couple a couple of herons fishing in the muddy water when he felt something bump his elbow full stop after that there is a full stop so definitely it would be a participle looking around he found at his side a little goat jet black and soft as velvet with lovely grey eyes neither her owner nor her mother is a typical example of subject verb agreement they have given to us so we very careful they have given us be verb be verb would be that means neither her owner nor her mother singular both the subject that use singular but it is neither nor so it is going to be was around she continued to nudge mukesh so he looked in his pocket for nourishment rest of the things easy but the subject verb agreement that neither her owner nor her mother you have to be quite alert let's see the next question which is basically based on preposition phrasal verbs so there was steep rise in okay rising price steep rise in onion prices air pollution is responsible for the spread of it's very easy spread of bronchitis he was under pressure to complete the work we generally keep on saying that he is under a lot of pressure so under pressure joan jumped into the river to rescue the child jumped into the river as you know it's a very common saying and also there is a logic behind this jump into the river that means there is a motion involved okay a person is jumping towards something okay so jumping towards a river so that's why two and the river must be deep so it is into the river there is a movement involved that is and there is moving towards the sea and jumping it is force and movement and it's a deep the river is deep that's why into his teacher is very pleased with him ali took off his cap and wiped his face so took off is a phrasal verb took off means remove or take it away that is the meaning took off remove okay remove your shoes you can say took off your shoes like that the old woman could not get over the shock i could not get over this problem get over okay he should not get away with such rudeness that means he should not be allowed so much leniency okay he should not be treated so easily so casually he cannot get away with such rudeness this is also easy so comparatively in this year 2016 it has been easier this preposition part let's see the synthesis where you are joining the sentences without using coordinating conjunction and but or so my grandfather is very old he is very active okay so this is uh, is a contrast generally people when you are getting you are old people don't expect you to be very active so contrast so although my grandfather is very old he is very active though my grandfather is very old comma he is very active even though also you can use even though my grandfather is very old he is very active in spite of very important usage in spite of being very old my grandfather is very active or you can use despite but despite we cannot use of so despite be despite take participles in spite also take participle but it also has of so in spite being very old my grandfather is very active next one mala is not in the classroom mala is not in the library so it's a typical example where you can see two negative sentences so we can use neither nor mala is neither in the classroom nor in the library very important thing to remember whenever you are using this kind of coordinated conjunction when neither nor either or not only but also like this kind of coordinated conjunction where they go hand in hand you have to see that after every that conjunction the same construction is followed after neither i started with preposition that in the classroom after nor also there is starting with preposition in the library okay that is the reason and neither you can start like this also neither but neither when you are starting with neither it should be followed with a verb okay so neither is mala in the classroom nor she is in the library okay
So let's see the next one. She was so excited about her performance. She could not sleep at night. Okay. So was so, so excited. So let's see. She was so excited about her performance that she could not sleep at night. Just you have to add that and join the sentence. She was too excited about her performance to sleep at night. That is also you can use. Too excited. Too excited. She was so excited that she could not sleep. Basically, that is the meaning. If you think it is, uh, they have turned the sentence a little bit because in transformation of sentence, when we do the next part that we are going to do, where they say use to, T W -O two, or if the sentence is given like this, so excited, okay, so and that, okay, or else you can write with to. Is basically they have turned the sentence and put in the synthesis part. Next is Mumbai is. Densely populated, it is one of the major cities in country. Here you can use synthesize the sentence, combine the sentence, or join the sentence using apposition, noun in apposition. Noun in apposition means when you put the noun, okay, or noun phrase, okay, or noun or pronoun, anything, okay, next to the noun, okay. So in apposition, so Mumbai, how I'm taking this Mumbai, then I'm putting comma, okay, both the sentence talking about Mumbai, right. So Mumbai, putting comma, one of the major cities in the country, then comma, and then I'm writing the remaining part of the sentence is densely populated. Or you can write Mumbai, which is densely populated, is one of the major cities in the country. So that's the four sentences done. Let's go to the last part that is transformation of sentences. The book was so interesting that I could not put it down. Two. See, we were talking about that so that. So he, the first one only they have asked you to write the two. The book was too interesting to be put down. Here, this is little tricky because it is that uh, the book was so interesting that I could not put it down. The book was so interesting. You can write like this also. The book was so interesting uh, for me to put it down. That is also fine. The principal said... All the prizes will be distributed tomorrow. The principal said that. Direct, indirect speech. Uh, it's very uh, easy or at least you, it would be very easy for you if you try to identify from which part it is giving. It is with an indirect direct speech or it is a comparative thing. It is a so that, to, like that. Then you can recollect the technique to solve. It's very, very technical, this grammar part they give. The principal said that all the prizes would be, because principal said it is in past tense, would be distributed. Tomorrow will become the next day in the indirect speech. Last night's dinner was cooked for us by father. Now it is an active passive. By father. So that is in passive. We have to make it active. Okay. Uh, father cooked last night's dinner for us. Or you can say, Father cooked for us last night's dinner. If Mary catches the first bus, she will be on time for school. Conditional sentences. Okay, unless. So we know for if there we can also use like provided that unless. Okay, so, so now they have asked with unless. Begin with unless. Unless Mary catches the first bus, she will not be on time for school. She will not be unless she catches. In spite of and despite, this is a very, very, what you can say, very common, very popular question that keeps on coming in the grammar, ICC grammar part. So, in spite of having high fever, the girl came to school. Despite having, despite will never take off. So, no question of putting off. So, but despite will take participle. So, despite having high fever, the girl came to school. Next, sixth one, again a popular one. Prefer and rather. So you have to know the technique that prefer we uh, followed by participle. The verb we make it participle. But rather we don't make it participle. I prefer going out with friends to. Prefer also take to. Staying alone. I would rather. Staying alone at home. I would rather go out with friends than stay alone at home. So see the difference. First is prefer. Takes participle and to. Rather do not take. Uh, it doesn't take participle and it takes that. Okay, doesn't take two. 
hardly next one hardly had the teacher left the room when all the children started making noise no sooner typical example again okay no sooner had no sooner had the teacher left the room than all the children started making a noise so no sooner takes than hardly takes when okay ne last one this is the funniest movie i have ever seen funniest so it's a comparative superlative degree is given you have to start with never so in the both ways you can start never have i never okay never have i seen a funnier movie than this funnier this is a comparative that's why than never have i seen a funnier movie than this or you can write like this you want to make it positive both possibilities are fine uh, never have i seen a movie as funny as this one so this was it uh, so we'll be coming with more examples and more solved grammar questions of uh, you know years of 15 14 13 onwards stay tuned and i hope this you find it very useful and if you have any doubts if you think that you have suggestions to give us feel free to give us those suggestions we'll try our best to incorporate those and make changes so that it serve your purpose that is a whole you know motive the purpose behind making this video so all the best to all the icc students who are preparing this year 2020 so uh, amidst this uh, pandemic i hope you are all staying home staying safe and doing your part as an alert citizen okay to help the country stay tuned for more updates like this subscribe my channel thank you welcome back with another part of the series where we are solving icc 2015 english language paper 1 specifically the grammar component okay so we have seen so far 2020 20 19 okay and 18 17 16 and now here we have 2015 so let's get started uh here in the passage as we know it is all about tenses so every time they will give you one example and taking cue from that example we have to think that whether the sentence would be entirely present or past tense or there will be a mix so let's see how it starts it's a very scoring component that is a grammar component in icc language paper so let's get started one morning i saw so this is already given to us one morning i saw the python curled up on the dressing table so saw means the it will be in past tense it was there is another indication that it is in past tense that it was it was gazing at its own reflection in the mirror i went for grandfather but by the time we returned to the room the python had moved on he was seen in the garden and once the cook saw him crawling up the ladder to the roof then we found him on the dressing table again admiring himself in the mirror he is trying to look better for aunt mabel i said i regretted this remark immediately because grandmother overheard and held up my pocket money for the rest of the week it's a little um, what you can say sweet hilarious uh, passage but as you can see how we have used participles how we have used past perfect tense how we have used simple past that is what is going to bring you marks so that identify right that where it should be put the next component that we have that is a phrasal verbs or preposition what we say so let's see the first one he found the key just at or near outside or by behind beside the front door okay so that way you can write i could not accompany my cousin on the trip because i had fever on the trip the noise prevented us from sleeping something we use for prevent prevent from the young man put the flute to his lips began to play now this is a little tricky one fourth it some might think that uh, it would be 
the young man put the flute on his lips in his lips uh, so no it should be put the flute to his lips is to as a direction of his lips basically and began to play ashok lean against the wall tiredly it's a very common phrasal verb or preposition that keeps on coming where i c c lean against the wall the paper dart went gliding through the air something which is in motion and from one end to the other so gliding through the air the cyclist rode quickly dash the path now for this there are lot many possibilities it could be on the path along the path across the path or down the path the young child carried heavy bu- bucket up or down the stairs any one you can write because it is not very clear whether it is going upstairs or it is coming downstairs let's see the third component where it is a four marks and one mark each and let's see you have to s- combine the sentences you have to join okay these are all part of synthesis okay he has learned to cycle he has learned to swim okay so there is a contrast we can see the one thing he has learned but the other thing is still remaining to be learned so although he has learned to cycle comma he has still not learned to swim though he has learned to cycle you can also use cycling though he has learned cycling still he has not learned to swim or still he has not learned swimming you can also use in spite of having because in spite of after that we take participles so in spite of having learned cycling he has still not learned swimming and despite having learned cycling he has not learned swimming despite and still they do not go together this we have to remember with the other we can write still let's see the second the child helped her mother to make breakfast she washed the tomatoes now there this is one person who is doing both the work one is helping her mother and also wash tomatoes so here we can use participle and let's see how we can use so one way you can use having helped her mother having helped having helped her mother to make breakfast comma the child wash the tomatoes you can also write like this helping her mother to make a breakfast the child washed the tomatoes using participle or there are other ways also the child washed the tomatoes in order to help her mother making the breakfast okay making breakfast the child helped her mother to make breakfast by washing tomatoes that is also fine by washing the tomatoes so if we have to be very careful that where it is written like in front of tomatoes it is written the but in front of breakfast it is not so we are going to have to maintain that in the changed sentence also okay so let's go to the third they bought a new car they can travel long distances so it is a cause and effect uh, sort of thing so they bought a new car to travel long distances since they bought a new car they can travel long distances as they bought a new car they can travel to long distances they can travel long distances that is also fine they can travel long distances because they bought a new car so cause and effect as since because you can use last one of this component sunita opened her purse she found the money missing okay she found the money was missing the money missing so sunita opened her purse to find the money missing so okay that's one as soon as and all these things do not use over there save it for the next components that is d part over there so it is strictly said that in the synthesis we are only going to join using either adjective clause or adverb clause or noun clause or subordinate clause like this you know those are part of subordinate clause like this we can join sunita op- opened her purse to find the money missing second option is when sunita opened her purse she found the money missing now you have to remember we cannot change the or meaning so when sunita opened her purse she found the missing money then the meaning totally changed so we cannot write that she found the missing money that means she found it but in our original sentence it is a 
she found that the money was missing we have to stick to this original meaning on opening a purse sunita found her money missing uh, again participle we can use having opened her purse sunita found the money missing don't write missing money then it would make the meaning changed let's come to the fourth component and the last component of grammar portion that is rewrite the sentences without changing the meaning so it is a transformation of sentences there are different varieties that we encounter in this part arun gave ramesh some excellent advice you have to start you have to begin with ramesh was so arun gave so it is an example of active passive so ramesh was given some excellent advice by arun quite an easy one as soon as sanya sat down to study the lights went off no sooner again a typical example that keeps on coming in icc exam no sooner did it is sat so it will become did sanya sit down to study than the lights went off no sooner always takes than you can also write like this no sooner had sanya sat down to study than the lights went off has alia written to you question mark so here we have to mention have you been written to by alia have you been written to okay by alia or you can also write like this have you heard from alia that is another way see or have you received a letter from alia so here we are inserting those two words received and letter which is not mentioned at all in the original sentence but has alia written to you we are assuming it's a letter but i think first two are quite clear so that would be better if you have written have you been written to by alia next one as soon as a function got over the crowd dispersed you have to use hardly sometimes they give had sometimes they don't but we have to be aware that hardly or less takes had so hardly had the function got over when hardly always take when no sooner takes than so hardly had the function got over when the crowd dispersed fifth the monsoon is the best season in our country rewrite using good so it is the best and good that means it's an example of a degree of comparison we have to change so is the best season it is not written is one of the best no so it is simply written is the best season so we are going to use no other season in our country is as good as the monsoon sixth harish was so tired that he could not keep his eyes open harish was too again a typical example that keeps on coming in icc language section transformation section that is harish was too tired to keep his eyes open infinitive okay we are using father said to sunil i can help you with your homework father told sunil and it's example of direct and indirect speech so father told sunil that he could help him with his homework you have to see the change of pronoun okay and also the punctuation marks last one naresh goes to school goes to a school which has over a thousand students you have to begin there which is a tricky one because there so there are over a thousand students in naresh's school that because naresh goes to a school which has got over a thousand students so that is naresh's school belonging possessive that we are using or else you can write there are over a thousand students in the school to which naresh goes to or in the school that naresh goes to so that's it for 2015 so for in your suggestions ask any doubt pertaining to english language we'll try our best to help you out keep watching and keep subscribe this channel in the next video we'll be coming up with more uh, solutions of icc language paper Welcome back with another part of the series where we are solving ICC 2015 English language paper 1 specifically the grammar component okay so we have seen so far 2020 20 19 okay and 
17, 16 and now here we have 2015. So let's get started. Uh, here in the passage as we know it is all about tenses. So every time they will give you one example and taking cue from that example we have to think that whether the sentence would be entirely present or past tense or there will be a mix. So let's see how it starts. It's a very scoring component that is a grammar component in ICAC language paper. So let's get started. One morning I saw, so this is already given to us. One morning I saw the python curled up on the dressing table. So saw so means the, it will be in past tense. It was, there is another indication that it is in past tense that it was. It was gazing at its own reflection in the mirror. I went for grandfather but by the time we returned to the room the python had moved on. He was seen in the garden and once the cook saw him crawling up the ladder to the roof then we found him on the dressing table again admiring himself in the mirror. He is trying to look better for Aunt Mabel I said. I regretted this remark immediately because grandmother overheard and held up my pocket money for the rest of the week. It's a little, um, what you can say, sweet, hilarious uh, passage. But as you can see how we have used participles, how we have used past perfect tense, how we have used simple past, that is what is going to bring you marks so that identify right that where it should be put. The next component that we have that is the phrasal verbs or preposition what we say. So let's see the first one. He found the key just at or near, outside or by, behind, beside the front door. Okay, so that way you can write. I could not accompany my cousin on the trip because I had fever on the trip. The noise prevented us from sleeping. Something we use for prevent, prevent from. The young man put the flute to his lips, began to play. Now this is a little tricky one. Fourth, it, some might think that uh, it would be the young man put the flute on his lips, in his lips. Uh, so no, it should be put the flute to his lips, is to as a direction of his lips basically and began to play. Ashok leaned against the wall tiredly. It's a very common phrasal verb or preposition that keeps on coming where I say see. Lean against the wall. The paper dart went gliding through the air. Something which is in motion and from one end to the other. So gliding through the air. The cyclist rode quickly dash the path. Now for this there are lot many possibilities. It could be on the path. Along the path, across the path, or down the path. The young child carried heavy bu bucket up or down the stairs. Anyone you can write because it is not very clear whether it is going upstairs or it is coming downstairs. Let's see the third component where it is a four marks and one mark each. And let's see, you have to s uh, combine the sentence, you have to join. Okay, these are all part of synthesis. Okay. He has learned to cycle. He has learned to swim. Okay. So there is a contrast we can see. The one thing he has learned. But the other thing is still remaining to be learned. So although he has learned to cycle, comma, he has still not learned to swim. Though he has learned to cycle, you can also use cycling. Though he has learned cycling, still he has not learned to swim or still he has not learned swimming. You can also use in spite of having because in spite of after that we take participles. So in spite of having learned cycling, he has still not learned swimming. And despite having learned cycling, he has not learned swimming. Despite and still they do not go together. This we have to remember. With the other we can write still. Let's see the second. The child helped her mother to make breakfast. She washed the tomatoes. Now there this is the one person who is doing both the work. One is helping her mother and also wash tomatoes. So here we can use 
participle and let's see how we can use so one way you can use having helped her mother having helped having helped her mother to make breakfast come the child wash the tomatoes you can also write like this helping her mother to make a breakfast the child wash the tomatoes using participle or there are other ways also the child wash the tomatoes in order to help her mother making the breakfast okay making breakfast the child helped her mother to make breakfast by washing tomatoes that is also fine by washing the tomatoes so if we have to be very careful that where it is written like in front of tomatoes it is written the but in front of breakfast it is not so we are going to have to maintain that in the changed sentence also okay so let's go to the third they bought a new car they can travel long distances so it is a cause and effect uh, sort of thing so they bought a new car to travel long distances since they bought a new car they can travel long distances as they bought a new car they can travel to long distances they can travel long distances that is also fine they can travel long distances because they bought a new car so cause and effect as since because you can use last one of this component sunita opened her purse she found the money missing okay she found the money was missing the money missing so sunita opened her purse to find the money missing so okay that's one as soon as and all these things do not use over there save it for the next components that is d part over there so it is strictly said that in the synthesis we are only going to join using either adjective clause or adverb clause or noun clause or subordinate clause like this you know those are part of subordinate clause like this we can join sunita op opened her purse to find the money missing second option is when sunita opened her purse she found the money missing now you have to remember we cannot change the meaning so when sunita opened her purse she found the missing money then the meaning totally changed so we cannot write that she found the missing money that means she found it but in our original sentence it is said she found that the money was missing we have to stick to this original meaning on opening a purse sunita found her money missing uh, again participle we can use having opened her purse sunita found the money missing don't write missing money then it would make the meaning changed let's come to the fourth component and the last component of grammar portion that is rewrite the sentences without changing the meaning so it is a transformation of sentences there are different varieties that we encounter in this part arun gave ramesh some excellent advice you have to start you have to begin with ramesh was so arun gave so it is an example of active passive so ramesh was given some excellent advice by arun quite an easy one as soon as sanya sat down to study the lights went off no sooner again a typical example that keeps on coming in icc exam no sooner did it is sat so it will become did sanya sit down to study than the lights went off no sooner always takes than you can also write like this no sooner had sanya sat down to study than the lights went off has alia written to you question mark so here we have to maintain have you been written to by alia have you been written to okay by alia or you can also write like this have you heard from alia that is another way see or have you received a letter from alia so here we are inserting those two words received and letter which is not mentioned at all in the original sentence but has alia written to you we are assuming it's a letter but i think first two are quite clear so that would be better if you have written have you been written to by alia next one as soon as a function got over the crowd dispersed you have to use hardly sometimes they give had sometimes they don't but we have to be aware that hardly or less takes had so hardly had the function got over when hardly always take when 
no sooner texts than so hardly had the function got over when the crowd dispersed fifth the monsoon is the best season in our country rewrite using good so it is best and good that means it's an example of a degree of comparison we have to change so is the best season it is not written is one of the best no so it is simply written is the best season so we are going to use no other season in our country is as good as the monsoon sixth harish was so tired that he could not keep his eyes open harish was too again a typical example that keeps on coming in icc language section transformation section that is harish was too tired to keep his eyes open infinitive okay we are using father said to sunil i can help you with your homework father told sunil and it's example of direct and indirect speech so father told sunil that he could help him with his homework you have to see the change of pronoun okay and also the punctuation marks last one naresh goes to school goes to a school which has over a thousand students you have to begin there which is a tricky one because there so there are over a thousand students in naresh's school that because naresh goes to a school which has got over a thousand students so that is naresh's school belonging possessive that we are using or else you can write there are over a thousand students in the school to which naresh goes to or in the school that naresh goes to so that's it for 2015 so pour in your suggestions ask any doubt pertaining to english language we'll try our best to help you out keep watching and keep subscribe this channel in the next video we'll be coming up with more uh, solutions of icc language paper welcome to all of you here we are ready with the solution of 2014 icc paper as you know we are doing this as a part of series where we are discussing with explanation how to solve the grammar portion of icc paper and it's a very scoring part of the paper because the essay the letter the email notice and comprehension so gradually the scoring part of the paper starts increasing from email notice comprehension and the most scoring part or the high scoring part is language uh, paper is a solved you know uh, pa- uh, so very easy to solve would be your grammar part so let's get started it is the first question in the grammar section we have the tense so and there will be a cue which you have to understand how the sentence is going to go ahead whether it is in past tense whether it is going to be present future or mix of all the tenses what it is so as we can see in the example from his perch behind clock hugo could see everything so here is indications in past tense because hugo could see everything he rubbed that is also indication the passage is in past tense he rubbed his fingers nervously against the small notebook in his pocket and told himself to be patient the old man in the toy boat was arguing with the girl she was beaver she was about hugo's age and he often saw her go into the booth and disappear behind the counter the old man looked you can write or you can also write was looking agitated today had he figured out some of his toys were missing well there was nothing to be done about that now the old man and the girl argued some more and finally she closed her book and ran off okay very mysterious kind of act which is going on in this passage let's come to the next part that is a phrasal verb or preposition the first one the teacher spoke up spoke up is a very common phrasal verb or the phrase that we use spoke up you have to speak up for yourself that's how we say the teacher spoke up for raju when he was wrongly accused of stealing money you can also write the teacher spoke out for raju when he was wrongly accused for of stealing money we can visit her in the hostel between 3 pm and 5 pm on saturday now there is there might be a tendency to make this mistake that writing from 
it is if there is a from then there should be two also but here it is written only one blank and it is between 3 pm and 5 pm between that time you have to uh, we can visit uh, her hostel so it will be between not from from would be wrong the third the sinhas have lived in delhi new delhi since 1943 some might make a mistake that here you are writing from from 1943 no for the native speakers okay they use since for the year okay since 2001 since 2007 so since the time 1943 they have been living in this place little children are often afraid of the dark so afraid of is also very common but some might think of afraid in dark no you are always this actually these are the examples of the words followed by preposition so if you thoroughly go through a ray and martin book of grammar you will get to see that there is a chapter based on words followed by preposition so there you can find this example so afraid of the dark sneha has applied for a scholarship so you are applying for what you are applying for a scholarship it took ahmed many months to get over the loss of his friend so this kind of sentence keep on coming in icc board get over get over uh, a shock or get over the loss you know coming out of it so get over the loss of his friend she turned down very common phrasal verb she turned down the generous offer made by the manager turn down means refusal you are refusing to accept we were asked to take off our footwear as we were entering a place of worship so you can also write take off take off is basically removing some might make a mistake of take out okay no take out means you can say take out your book okay so take out your book or take it out means or you take out all your anger okay so that is something which is there inside and you are taking out so you cannot say here you are removing you are removing the footwear from your a uh, foot so remove your footwear basically so take off take off your socks take off your footwear okay that's what it means let's see the synthesis of sentence or what we say joining the sentence or combining the sentence the first one he is good at gymnastics his writing must improve so here we can to see that what relation it is he is good in one thing but his another thing that is handwriting skill must be improved so there is a okay contrast sort of thing so although he is good at gymnastic his writing must improve that can be one instead of uh, although you can write though though he is good at uh, gymnastics his handwriting must improve or you can write in spite of being good at gymnastics his handwriting must improve so wherever there is a contrast so although though even though we can use in spite of despite also we can use next sentence her grandfather gifted her a paint box he, he knew she was good at it so here is a cause effect so why she got uh, why she was gifted a paint box because she was good at art so here is a cause effect you have to see so her grandfather gifted her a paint box because he knew she was good at art her grandfather gifted her paint box as he knew she was good at art or since he knew he was uh, she was good at art that is the easier one you can also opt for this option participle knowing that she was good at art comma her grandfather gifted her a paint box but i think because as since the easier options to follow third ravi fractured his arm he insisted on playing the match again there is contrast okay so he has fractured his arm so a normal uh, way of thinking would be if you have fractured hand you will take rest you will not play the match so there is a contrast so let's see there are possibilities like although ravi fra had fractured his arm he insisted on playing the match even though you can write or though ravi had fractured his arm he insisted on playing the match you can also write despite having fractured because despite always followed by participle so we cannot write despite of that is wrong 
we always have to follow despite and then the participle despite having fractured his arm ravi insisted on playing the match you can also write like this despite fracturing his arm ravi insisted on playing the match but when we are writing in spite is always followed by of and then you follow with the participle in spite of having fractured arm uh, his arm it should be his arm uh, ravi insisted on playing the match or in spite of fracturing his arm ravi insisted on insisted on playing the match so there are lot many possibilities in this last uh, third sentence okay so let's see the fourth one that of oh, mona has been ill for a month she stood first in the examination again there is a contrast if you have been ill for a month definitely nobody is expecting you to uh, come first in the exam so there is a contrast so although mona had been ill now you have to remember that in the first original sentence there are two sentences okay and there is full stops so there are two separate sentences so one can be in present the other can be in past but when you are writing within one sentence it should follow the same tense so that's why we are changing although mona had been ill for a month she stood first in the examination you can use even though though you can also go for despite and in spite so despite being ill for a month mona stood first in the exam or despite having been ill you cannot write having been that's wrong so having participle you are using so uh the after participle i mean that is the perfect participle that you are using right been so having been ill for a month mona stood first in the examination and also write in spite of in spite of being ill so being is the participle of be verb okay or in spite of having been ill both are correct so there are lot many possibilities for this let's go to the last uh, section of grammar Uh, that is the transformation of sentence here lot many varieties you find so first one we have as soon as we lit the candle the power supply was restored no sooner very common keep on coming in icc exam no sooner did we can write no sooner did we light because a past tense of light would uh, light would be lit so here we have to expand that form lit into did light so no sooner did we light the candle that now there is a tendency of making a mistake making it then t h e n which is wrong it has to be than t h a n no sooner did we light the candle than the power supply was restored you can also write like this no sooner had we lit the candle than the power supply was restored so had can also be used but you have to pay uh, uh, attention that had if you are writing we have to write lit we cannot write light because in past perfect how we say had slept okay had done had completed so it is had lit next one uh, the bee is more industrious than all other creatures you have to use most industrious now this is an example of a pattern follow degree of comparison so you have to write the bee is the most industrious of all creatures okay all other we cannot write than all other than is used that's why than all other so we have to write of all other creatures third the old woman was too slow to catch the bus you have to begin the old woman was so so again typical example in icc so that and to the old woman was so slow that she could not catch the bus why could not because the sentence is in past tense the old woman was so slow that's why it has to be she could not catch the bus if it would have been in present that old woman is so slow that she cannot okay that tense you have to see i will do it tomorrow he promised you have to it's very direct question they have given that rewrite in indirect speech okay so indirect speech so he promised that he would do it the next day or the following day so that can be done because tomorrow in indirect speech it becomes the next day or following day he promised that he would do it you can also use infinitive in this he promised to do it the next day or the following day that is also fine fifth though rima got an expensive gift she was not happy in spite contrast uh, sort of sentence so in spite of getting 
an expensive kit reema was not happy you can write unhappy also or you can write in spite of in spite of having got it is we are using participle you know, perfect participle in spite of having got an expensive gift reema was not happy or unhappy sixth i prefer reading a book to watching a movie again typical example it would be rather they will start with i would rather so i would rather read a book than watch a movie so you have to remember this that for prefer followed by a uh, participle okay or uh, the ing verb they use so i prefer reading a book but if you are using rather you cannot use ing you have to use the base verb that is i would rather read a book than watch a movie seven i have never seen mr roy lose his temper you have to start with never so here it is example of affirmative to negative so never is followed by the auxiliary verb that is have never have never did okay like this so never have i seen mr roy lose his temper or you can write never have i seen mr roy losing his temper both are correct eighth one that is the last one she found your keys in the garage so she found your keys in the garage so begin the keys okay so here it's a example of active passive the keys she found your keys so you have to in the changed sentence you have to show the keys to whom it uh, it belongs so the keys that belong to you it is in past tense so were found in the garage by her okay so that is one way or the keys belonging to you were found in the garage by her so that's it for 2014 paper we have seen that it was pretty easy except just here and there little bit okay but otherwise the paper was quite easy like this lot many solved examples i mean the answer key we are going to upload the upcoming years would be 2013 12 okay 11 10 onwards so keep watching and subscribe to our channel welcome back friends so here we are ready with our part of a series of icsc Oh, English language paper one, where we are looking into the grammar part specifically. So here we are having this 2013 year with us, and we are going to dealt with the grammar portion where we have the components of tense, we have the components of preposition, synthesis, and transformation of sentences. So let's get started. The first question in the grammar component that we have it is based on a passage where a hint would be given to you and there you can just see that whether it is in past tense or present tense or future and take the passage ahead so the first one a woman dash wait at an airport one night with several long hours before her flight the answer hint is given to us was waiting so that means it's a hint that it is going to be in past tense she hunted for a book in the airport shops bought a bag of cookies and found a place to sit she was engrossed in her book but happened to see that the man sitting beside her bold as could be grabbed a cookie or two from the bag in between which she tried to ignore to avoid a scene so she munched the cookies and watched the clock as the gusty thief diminished her stock she got more irritated as the minutes ticked by thinking if i wasn't so nice i would blacken his eye with each cookie she took he took one too when only one was left she wondered what he would do with a smile on his face and a nervous laugh he took the last cookie broke it in half he offered her half as he ate the other she had never shown sorry she had never known she could be so angry and turned to gather her belongings as she reached for her baggage she gasped with surprise there was her bag of cookies in front of her eyes if mine are here she mounted in despair the others were his 
and he was trying to share beautiful passage indeed the next component we have that is of phrasal verbs for preposition first one she takes a lot of trouble in her walk our english friends have taken to indian food quite quickly taken to means showing interest he got an a in the mathematics test he jumped into the river to save his friend from drowning very common jumped into this keep on coming in icc board always be prepared for a surprise test she hid inside or behind the cupboard and gave everyone a fright she is fond of pets the brothers quarrel among themselves for their father's property next is your synthesis of sentence we had better get ready now we may not have time to reach the airport so here you can write like this unless you can use unless unless we get ready now we may not have time to reach the airport if we do not get ready now we may not have time to reach the airport or you can also write we had better get ready now otherwise we may not have time to reach the airport so unless if otherwise you can use mr liu has been sick he has been so since he came back from japan mr liu has been sick since he came back from japan okay now the next one the debating teams were very happy both were declared joint champions the debating teams were very happy because both were declared joint champions or the debating team teams were very happy as you can use as both were declared joint champions or since both were declared joint champions he escaped from the prison he looked for a place where he could hide after escaping from the prison he looked for a place where he could hide or having you can use participle having escaped from the prison he looked for a place where he could hide escaping from prison he looked for a place where he could hide the last one is a transformation of sentences uh, this windows need cleaning again you have to begin with this windows will okay so this windows will need to be cleaned again or you can write this windows will have to be cleaned again my mother said i could go with you only if i returned home by 5 o'clock uh, use as long as so my mother said i could go with you as long as i return home by 5 o'clock that is a very basic change you remove only if and you are writing as long as it does not matter which chemical you put into the mixture first the results will be same difference you have to use in a sentence it does not make any difference which chemical you put into the mixture first the results will be same okay make any difference that is the word you have to include okay who does the spain belong to do you know so do you know to whom that's a very old expression but it's correct expression do you know to whom does this pen belong or do you know whose pen is this do you know whose pen is this that is also correct heavy rains heavy rain has caused the cancellation of the outdoor garden party so due to heavy rain the outdoor garden party has been cancelled okay so next i have never seen so many people in this building this is this is the first time i have seen so many people in this building this is little bit tricky because i have never seen this is negative to positive or negative to affirmative you are doing this is the first time you have seen so many people basically if we light the fire the rescuers will see us we will we will be seen by the rescuers if we light the fire we will not be seen by the rescuers unless we light the fire if or unless you can use next only a few books were remaining on the shelf when we left so most this is again little tricky most of the books were removed from the shelf when we left or most of the books were not there on the shelf when we left so only few books were remaining that means most of the books were either removed or it was not they were not there okay so this is your 
uh, grammar portion that we discussed of 2030. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos and pour your suggestions in. Welcome friends. So here we are ready with a part of another uh, question paper of 2012 English language paper 1. So here specifically we are looking into grammar portion. So as you know the first question the grammar portion that is the passage based question based on tense. So let's get started. My guide told me if I wanted to meet these people I would have to walk two miles. We finally reached a village where I met a lady whose age I could not immediately make out. My translator found or you can write was finding it difficult to interpret the lady's words because her dialect was quite different. She was a dark skinned and dark haired lady. She must have been around 70 years old but there was no grey in her hair. She obviously could not afford to dye her hair. So what was her secret? Nobody knew. It must have been a secret common to all for not one person in that whole village had a trace of grey hair. I thought or I had been thinking about it for a long time. Let's go to the next part. Fill in the blanks with appropriate word. He was touched with pity or he was touched with by pity when he heard the tale. There is always a demand for good tailors. The mother prevented her child from. So prevent from. Always follows going out in the rain. The baby crawled under the table and hid there. Once upon a time the great king ruled over all these villages and towns. She is the smarter of the two. Okay, Sheila insists on or upon. Both are correct. Wearing that dress, although her mother thinks it is too short for her, the teacher complained against him when she, she met his mother in the market. Okay, next one is synthesis of sentences. He lived in the city for many years. He could not find his way about. So there are a lot of possibilities over here. He So contrast sentences. Although he lived in the city for many years, he could not find his way out. You can use though, you can use even though, or you can use in spite of having lived in the city for many years, he could not find his way out, way about. And despite having, oh, it is actually be having, okay, that's it. Despite having lived in the city for many years, he could not find his way about. The next one, she complained that her brother did not do anything. Her brother claimed he knew everything. Again, there is a contrast. So, although he, she claimed that her brother did not know anything, her brother claimed he knew everything. So, you can use although, though, like that. Or you can use she complained that her brother did not know anything, whereas her brother claimed he knew everything. Next, the coffee is not strong. It won't keep us awake. So it's more like a cause effect. So coffee isn't too strong to keep us awake. The coffee won't keep us awake because or as it is not strong. Or it is not strong enough to keep us awake. Or it is not too strong to keep us awake. Okay, next sentence. I finished my homework. I switched on the TV. So this kind of sentence with the same person doing both the work, you can use participle. Finishing my homework, I switched on the TV. Having finished my homework, I switched on the TV. Any one. And the last one is the transformation of sentences. My mother left a month ago. It was. Uh, it has. It has been a month since my mother left. Anil was wrong to lose his temper. Anil ought. This is a different one, which has appeared in ICC board. So Anil ought not to lose his temper. That means he should not lose his temper. Next one is as soon as the chief guest had seated himself, the play began no sooner. Very common. No sooner had the chief guest seated himself than the play began. Here we are not putting did because in the original sentence itself had is given. Had seated. So let's skip it. Had. Okay. Next one. Uh, Rajiv said to Arjun, is this the book you were reading yesterday? Rajiv asked Arjun. So it's an indirect direct speech. 
so rajiv asked arjun if this will become that so that if that was a book okay you would become he and war reading which is uh, past continuous would become perfect past perfect continuous had been reading the day before or the previous day so these are the th- changes basically icc board is evaluating you on that whether you can change this changes pronoun uh, tense yesterday become the previous day or the day before whether you can make this changes or not in the indirect direct speech only a person only a foolish person would be taken in by this trick none but again it's an example of uh, affirmative and negative so none but none followed by but none but a foolish person would be taken in by this trick second uh, uh, next one is everybody has heard of gandhi ji so again uh, it is assertive to interrogative sentences so who has not heard of gandhi ji the answer would be everybody has heard of gandhi ji the next one would be uh, he will issue the check only when he hears from the head office so we have to begin with on so on hearing only from the head office he will issue the check this word only we cannot miss the word only that is important and last one father will send you a message if his flight is cancelled okay should his flight be cancelled father will send you a message so this was it for 2012 paper uh keep on following our channel keep on subscribing our channel so we'll be coming with more solutions of icc board papers like this so stay tuned welcome back so here we are ready with the solve grammar part of icc 2011 english language paper 1 so let's get started with the passage which basically we have to see the tense of the passage what is there and accordingly we have to make changes so the first example or the hint that is given we were not allowed to talk during the lecture so it is in past tense the children sat in a neat circle and began copying or you can write began to copy their multiplication tables most scratched or was scratching in the dirt with sticks they had brought for that purpose the more fortunate had sled boats that they were writing or wrote on with sticks dipped in a mixture of mud and water let's go to the next part that is fill in the blanks with appropriate word that is basically preposition or phrasal verbs he congratulated me for my great achievement now there is a uh, confusion my tucker congratulate on and congratulate for so congratulate on is generally we use where some a very special pleasant event that has happened and you are congratulating someone on that event or if it is for effort if it is for achievement okay where effort is put then that is for for your effort for your achievement there we use congratulate for the next one is the poor man is afflicted like afflicted is always followed by with arthritis um she is blind to the faults of her husband the boss had many complaints against so complaints against sham you must prepare for the examination you must prepare for the surprise test so prepare for she is not aware of the danger ravi was accurate in his calculation they hid the money under the carpet next is join the sentences without using and but or so the minister was wise the king did not trust him there is a contrast sentence so where we can use although the minister was wise the king did not trust him though you can use you can use even though the next sentence we reached the port the storm came on so on reaching the port the storm came on okay having reached the port the storm came on also can be used then third one should not borrow money one should not lend money so both negative so we can use one should neither borrow nor lend money or you can use one should neither borrow money nor lend money that is also fine but you have to remember neither nor this kind of construction whatever is you are writing after neither you have to follow that after nor also she will win the prize she deserves it so she deserves to win the prize very easy for the next one is the transformation of sentences let's see the first one this horse is better trained 
than yours your so you have to begin with your your horse is not as well trained as this one so this is example of comparison degree of comparison you have to see is not as well trained as this one the children will sit out in the garden if the weather is cool you have to begin with the children won't the children won't so again it is positive or negative okay sentences that we are changing the children won't sit out in the garden if the weather is not good or the children won't sit out in the garden unless the weather is cool third the thief ran so fast that the police could not catch him used to typical sentence that keep on coming in icc board the thief ran too fast for the police okay fourth her attitude often annoys me you have to use annoyance noun form of annoy so her attitude often causes annoyance to me okay. the fifth one the child disappeared as soon as the bus stopped okay so here as soon as the bus stopped so hardly had the bus stopped when the child disappeared hardly always takes when okay. the sixth one there is no success without effort whenever you make or put an effort you get success or whenever there is effort there is success anyone you can write please teach me to cycle she asked her brother re rewrite in indirect form indirect speech basically she asked her fa a brother so here you have to see whether it is really asking it is please so she requested her brother to teach her cycling or to teach her to cycle okay eighth the last one the peasants regarded him as a thief and called him a villain you have to end the sentence the peasants so it is a example of active passive he was regarded as a thief and was called a villain by the peasants so this was okay uh the paper of 2011 that we discuss okay more coming so so like this we have solved uh the grammar portion of 2020 onwards we have uh, solved it so 2011 so there is one more here 2010 so in that way we'll be finishing our series very soon with 10 years of solved grammar of icc board papers so stay tuned for more updates like this come back friends so here we are ready with the last part of our series where we are solving grammar part of icc board papers so we have started our journey with the very recent paper of icc 2020 and we have reached a certain last paper in last paper in the sense that is icc 2010 so that basically we have covered the 10 years uh, question paper of english language in IC, of icc board uh, specifically focusing on grammar so after this we are going to start with the next part of the series that is going to be comprehension so similarly 2020 till 2010 we are going to say how the tricks the tips to solve the comprehension and the entire solution would be explained to you how do you go about how because these are the two parts which is very scoring in the grammar paper in the language paper of english language paper 1 okay in icc board so let's get started so icc 2010 so so far we have covered so with this we will be able to complete 10 years a uh, grammar solved grammar of english language icc paper so as you already know that uh, the, the first question of grammar becomes a tense uh, based on tense there is a passage and a hint given uh, let's start with the passage but just when i had almost given up hope i was struck with a brilliant idea my birthday was due fairly soon and if i dealt with the family skillfully I felt sure I could not only get a boat but a lot of other equipments as well. I suggested to the family that instead of letting them choose my presents, I might tell them the things that I wanted most. In this way they could be sure of not disappointing me. It's a very indication in the beginning of the sentence I had almost so it's going to be a past tense. Okay. The next part is all about appropriate words. So let's start with the first one. I refrain from prevent from refrain from. Okay, I refrain from telling truth, uh, telling Rita the truth. 
second the leader counted on or counted upon okay the cooperation of his colleagues the public was cautioned against big pockets J- uh, janaki escorted her daughter to the cinema theater as she was anxious about her safety their path was beset with desert is always followed by with difficulties yet they succeeded the mouse crept stealthily towards the cheese okay. it was good of you to invite sheila for the picnic smoking in public places are uh, is now bad let's see the next part that is synthesis or combining sentences without using and but or so so first one is you will surely be let hurry up so you will surely be so you will surely be let if you do not hurry or hurry up otherwise you will surely be let unless you hurry you will surely be let or hurry up or you will surely be let any one you can write second is the trekkers lo- got lost due to the heavy fog they had misplaced their map as well okay so here the combination correlative conjunction that we can use not only but also we can start like this not only did so as you know whenever we start with neither nor so neither after followed by the verb i mean either action, uh, action verb if you have uh, or else it is your auxiliary verb so not only did not only did the trekkers get lost got is divided to did plus get lost due to the heavy rain but also misplaced their map so that you have to see that not only did you have start so after but also you have to start with a verb misplace their map or you can write the trekkers got lost not only due to the heavy fog but also it should be also but also due to the misplaced map by them third she has to apologize he will not meet her again if she does not do so he will not meet her again if she does not apologize to him you can write she has to apologize or he will not meet her again he will not meet her again unless she apologizes to him fourth i wear this expensive outfit very sparingly i bought it last month so here we have to see that we can use adjective clause i wear this expensive outfit very sparingly which i bought last month the last part of it that is transformation of sentences let's see the first one unless ria takes care of her health she will not be able to look after her family you have to begin ria must so it's easy ria must take care of her health in order to be able to look after his family next his arrogance was the cause of his losing the election you have to use the word arrogant so here noun form adjective form this way he lost the election as he was arrogant he lost the election because he was arrogant as he was arrogant he lost the election any one you can write if you are not a member you cannot borrow books or you can write only a member can borrow books or you can also write only members can borrow books only if you are a member can borrow books that way also you can write. can borrow books okay fourth it is a pity our vacation is not longer i wish our vacation was longer okay. next raju did not complete the exercise on time you have to add question tag which is uh, so far whatever nine newspapers that we have seen 2020 till 2009 okay we haven't come across question tag it is in the paper 2010 we are coming across this question tag so raju did not complete the exercise on time did he as you know the sentence is in negative did not complete so question tag would be in positive did he grohan was so terrified of being left alone in the house that he started screaming so terrified was so terrified was rohan of being left alone in the house that we know that so and that to go together so he he started screaming seven the teacher asked how many of you think the answer is correct you have to write in direct speech the teacher asked how many of us thought the answer was correct the tense you have to see how you change and the last one sunil is the fastest runner in the school you have to end the sentence as sunil so it's a quite um, 
evident that you can have to change the degree of comparison. So no other runner in the school is as fast as Sunil. So here we complete the series of ICSC English language paper uh, solving grammar part okay, which you composed of 20 marks in the paper. So after this we are going to start with the series of solving comprehension of the past 10 years the way we have solved the grammar. Stay tuned for more updates like this.